my channel. Before we start this exercise, you need to download this worksheet, which is linked below. In it, you receive about four pages, very simple things you need, a fractional decimal conversion table to help your math. It's both in inches and centimeters, and you can follow this lesson in inches or centimeters. Then we have a sample page where I have filled in some example measurements. Waist, 34. Then you need a quarter of the waist. Then your hip measurement, half the hip measurement, a quarter of the hip measurement. Then you need your hip depth, apex, half apex measurement, across the back measurement, a quarter of across the back, and finally the length of the skirt. Then you have some quick calculations. Front waist is a quarter of the waist. So you've already done your quarter of the waist, which is up here. And you're going to, you see where it is, and then you're going to add three of an inch for your answer. Back waist is minus three of an inch. Front hip is hip plus three eighths. Back hip is minus three eighths. Now, when we get to the front dark, you're going to take your front hip minus your front waist, which we've already calculated here. And that will give you an answer. And then you're going to divide your answer into three parts. One third is going to be used for the darts and two thirds will just be whatever is left. So 2.5 divided by three will give me this figure. You can just round it off to the nearest eighth of an inch or whole number, whichever is convenient. So because that's a hard number to divide. Anyway, uh, for back dart, you need back hip minus back waist. The same protocol, divide your answer into three and use that for the dart. Now here I've tried to explain simple ways to divide this number so that you don't end up with an odd figure and it's something easy to use. Okay, so just read that. And finally you have a blank page just for your own personal use. Thank you for subscribing. And on the last page we have what we are going to be drafting. Well, you don't need to memorize all these letters. They're just to help you and I communicate and make things easy for us to follow. And now let's get into the real draft. First, I'm starting with a clean line, just a clean edge on my paper, both on the side and on top. So I'm just essentially creating a right angle to work from. We're going to call that top left point A. A to B as the length of your skirt. Just squaring off a short guideline at the bottom here to help me out. A to C as half your hip. C to D is your skirt length. So we are essentially making a rectangle. This is your grid. It's always the starting point of any draft. And then you finally connect B to D. Next, we are going to put in our hip depth. This is point A to E. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side to put in point F. So E to F, just square across. Now we're going to split this into front and back. This is going to be our center front. And this is our center back. From point A, you're going to go to point G.
This is our front hip measurement. I'm doing the same at the bottom to help me draw a straight line. And then you just square down. And we label accordingly G, H, and I. Now for the darts. First, we're going to start with the front. A to J is our front waist plus the darts measurement you calculated. Call this point J. From point J, we're just going to square up a slight amount, three-eighths of an inch or one centimeter, to create some shaping on the side. A to K, we'll put in our half apex minus one centimeter or three eighths of an inch. K to L, put in your dart. Find the midpoint of K to L and just mark it. Square down from that midpoint, put in half the hip depth. And we we'll call this point M. Now connect KM and LM to complete your dart. Now the length of this dart is a variable. Halfway is good for your front so that you have some ease for your stomach. But you can always go straight down to the hip line if you really want it to be very tight. Now we're just going to complete our front with curved lines. Join G1 to H. Keep this curve shallow. Do the same for L to J1. And that completes your front. For the back, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put in our back waist plus start. That's C to N. From N, square up 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter. This could be a quarter of an inch, it could be half an inch. Now we're going to put in a quarter of our cross back, a C to O. We're just lining up our darts to follow the tentative princess seam, like dividing your body into four or eight, depending on how you look at it. Now O and P is your dart width. We marked the midline like we did in front. Now we're going to square down. The dart is three quarters of the hip depth. It's always longer at the back. Join our darts. and complete your side and your waist. This essentially completes the skirt and now we're going to cut it out and true it. So for the darts, we're basically just going to fold at the peak, fold the dart leg on the side. This will just help us close the dart easily. So you see that? We close it, use your ruler. What we want to do is smoothen that sharp point, that's all, to create a continuous curve. Keeping it closed, you're going to cut the waist. And finish cutting the sides. That has true the waistline and we'll do the same for the back. Crease at the point, crease on the side dart leg, fold and close the dart. And 
and smooth your curve. Now that's that. Now if you want a variation on the skirt block where we add an extra set of darts, stay tuned. Here we're going to put four darts in front and four darts at the back. Same as the normal skirt. You put your front waist plus your dart measurements, but this time it is two darts, so instead of one inch for one dart, I added two inches for two darts. All this is in the worksheet that is also linked below. So that's A to J, and of course J1 to put the shaping. So the same thing, A to K is the half apex, K to L is the dart, the first dart. Mark the middle, same as before. Square down to half hip depth. So we've established the first dart as we did previously. Now for the second dart, we are simply going to place it midway of the rest of the skirt here. So first you're going to just connect your point L to J1 with a straight line. All this will be smoothed out when we cut out the pattern. Find the midpoint of this line, just roughly the midpoint, doesn't have to be exact. Square down from this point. Basically you want this dart to be shorter than the first dart. It could be half an inch shorter, it could be an inch shorter. I made mine an inch shorter. like so. Now you're going to put in your dart legs. Hold up point O and point P. Connect these points. put in your side. All right, now we're going to do the same thing for the back. OP. So we're going to go from C to Q, put in your back waist plus. Remember it's two darts. All this is in the worksheet. From Q to Q1 is our shaping. We're going to put in a quarter of the across back for the first dart leg. And then we're going to put in our darts measurements. Find the midpoint. Square down three quarters of your hip depth for the first dart. And connect. Okay, we'll complete the waist. Find the midpoint.
square it down from this point keeping it about one inch shorter you can make it half an inch shorter it just needs to be a little shorter because this darts usually fall around the side where you have less need for a dart VW join this together and we have our second dart complete our side and we are done with our eight dart skirt we're going to true it same as before, just fold and close up both your darts. Create a clean curve. You really need to work on the pointed areas. That's the front, do the same thing for the back. And that completes our exercise. Remember, I have full detailed written instructions on the website. Don't forget to download your worksheets. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.